you really have that as something that comes with a question mark as to whether we'll actually have elections in 2020. Yeah, major, major cyber attack would stop our election. Yeah. Major cyber attack on, in October. Poof! Oh gosh, there's no election. Major cyber attack, okay? I mean, all these decisions that have been made that have real life ramifications right you know you mentioned a cyber attack Gary not to sound conspiracy theorist but uh, the World Economic Forum has it on their website that we should expect a major cyber attack given the details of what that would look like who would be impacted and that we need to prepare for it saying that it can happen in the next two years this is telegraphed on the World Economic Forum which also telegraphed quite clearly that there would be a COVID pandemic. You know, raise an eyebrow at when you see this as, as a potential scenario that the World Economic Forum is telling us to expect and prepare for. And as you quite rightly point out, that would certainly be very destabilizing and potentially be a reason to delay or postpone or, or cancel an election. Of course, I know you're hoping you're wrong, as am I, but uh, it is something that is, like I say, on the bingo card for 2024. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem. Racha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much, you know, I just woke up not too long ago from a nap. And, um, you know, the first thing on my mind is um, prophecy. You know, seeing what videos brothers is um, doing and um, pretty much I watched um, two videos, you know, really last week from the brother um, Yawanathan from the main camp, you know, in New York. And I watched um, Apostle Tahar's lesson on the um, Black Swan events. All right. And um, it encouraged me to do this video because the next Black Swan event that could possibly take place is a major cyber attack on the banking system. All right. And the purpose of that is not just the banking system, but it's so that the so-called white man, you know, the Edomites, so-called white man in sea line, they could come down with great wrath as prophesied in Revelation 12 and 12 by causing a global economic collapse, you know, issuing out martial law, so forth and so on. All right. Leading up to the hour of temptation. So these devils, they've been talking about the cyber attack since the World Economic Forum in um, 2023, all right? And the purpose of the cyber attack is to reset the system and implement the CBDC, which the CBDC, the central bank digital currency, is programmable money, all right? And these elite banker families, these central bankers, which are Edomites, they have a goal. They're trying to establish a one world government, all right? And what they're doing is they're establishing a one world currency in the form of the CBDC, but they want to program it on a device and make it mandatory. All right. And this is what the scriptures describe as the hour of temptation, which is going to happen very soon. But before that takes place, Jacob's trouble has to take place. All right. So we in some serious times, you know, all hell could break loose any day now cyber a cyber attack it can happen any day now all right so um let's just get straight into the lesson this is first Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3 it says for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape now when you go into this word sudden in first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 the word for sudden is this word in the Greek Strong's G, 160, Eifnidias, Eifnidias. And this word, Eifnidias, it says unexpected. 
And this is what the Black Swan event is all about, right? It says unexpected, sudden, unforeseen. Now, when you search up the Black Swan theory and the origins of it, let's read it real quick. It says the Black Swan theory, right? And this is from um, Wikipedia.org. It says the Black Swan theory or theory of Black Swan events is a metaphor that describes an event that comes as a surprise, has a major effect, and is often inappropriately rationalized after the fact with the benefit of hindsight. It says the term is based on an ancient saying that the presumed black swans did not exist until they were discovered in Australia in 1697. It says, and it then became reinterpreted to mean an unforeseen and consequential event. All right. So what's an example of a black swan event, a cyber attack? All right. False flag attacks. Right. Now, check this out. I typed in, um, well, this is from my article. If you want to um, search it up, it says um, Black Swan Event, right? And this should pop up. What is a Black Swan Event? This is from CorporateFinanceInstitute.com, right? Now, on this site, it has a lot of good um, information concerning this, but here's some real-life examples, right? It says, um, throughout history, there have been several notable black swan events. Here are a few prominent ones from the finance world with catastrophic consequences. And then it gives you some examples. Black Monday. This happened in 1987, right? The dot-com crash. See? 9-11 attacks. The 2008 global financial crisis. Brexit. The recent disease outbreak event, right? So these are some um, examples of black swan events, unforeseen events, events that caught people off guard, events that people didn't have time to prepare for, which goes back to First Thessalonians 5 and 3, Aphnidios, right? The word for sudden. It says unexpected, a black swan event, sudden, unforeseen, a black swan event. All right. And the next black swan event is a cyber attack because these elite banking families, they have to hurry up with their agenda. They're getting old. All right. They're starting to die one by one and more of them is going to end up dying this year. So they got to speed this agenda. up. This is first Thessalonians uh, five and three. Excuse me. It says for what they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction come off upon them. Yeah, that black swan event, which more than likely is going to be a cyber attack. All right. It says, as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Exactly. So the ones of you people that have forsaken your Habibasha Melsha, you know, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, you're going to get caught up, you know, in the wrath to come. Why? Because you've forsaken the Lord and served other gods, mainly the God of this world, Satan and his physical counterpart, the so-called white man in Ceylon, the Edomites. All right. Now, this is Psalms chapter 64 and uh, verse 8. It says, So they shall make them, Salaki, it says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, and all that see them shall flee away. Now, the purpose I'm reading this scripture is because these Edomites, the Most High puts the Spirit on them to expose their agendas in these cartoons, you know, these different uh, movies with the hidden symbolism. And then a lot of you people, you're under the impression, oh, the Simpsons, you know, they, they guess this this um, prediction again. You know, every year, the Simpsons, they have predictions, and it somehow comes true. I wonder how. Yeah, because it's a predetermined agenda. It goes back to the Hegelian dialect, you know, uh, problem, reaction, solution. So these different secret um, society groups, they already have these predetermined agendas because ultimately... It goes back to the will of the Most High on the left hand, all right? So the Most High is ultimately in control of these Edomites, pursuant to um, Psalms, the 17th chapter, you know, verses 13 to 14. Matter of fact, let me just read it real quick. This is um, Psalms, chapter 17, and verse 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint them, 
cast them down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So the wicked pursuant to Malachi 1 and 4 is who? The Edomites, the so-called white men in the sea So the Most High, the God of Israel, Yahweh, he's in control of everything in the universe. All right, nobody can act out an action unless the Heavenly Father sanctioned it in the heavens first. That involves you blinking, your thoughts, everything. There's no such thing as free will, all right? So even concerning this NWO agenda, all right, and all the events that's happening in the world, war, right? These Edomites plan for world domination through their technology and their new banking system. The Most High is in control of all of that, all right? And these agendas is in the scriptures, it's Bible prophecy. So it says, um, which is thy sword. So the Most High uses these Edomites, all right, to do his will on the left hand, to fulfill prophecy, right? That involves, you know, harp, you know, the bioengineering that they be doing, you know, the disease warfare they be doing to our people concerning these disease outbreaks, so forth and so on, all right? It says, from men which are thy hand. So the Most High controls men. It says, O Lord, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. And these Edomites, they have all of our possessions, right? Even our land. It says, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. And that's what these Edomites do because they have generational wealth because they control this banking system. You know, this is their system that we're under worldwide. All right. So now let me just jump back. Um, Psalm 64 and 8. It says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So the Most High puts the spirit on these Edomites to expose themselves. All right. To expose their predetermined agendas. Whether it's in these cartoons, you know, different uh, movies, you know, celebrities, so forth and so on. The Most High is in control. All right. Now, I'm going to end it with this. This is um, Luke chapter 21 and verse 34. It says, Luke 21, 34, it says, And take heed to yourselves, least at any time your hearts, meaning your mind, you know, going back to the Hebrew word, lob, be overcharged with sophiety and drunkenness and the cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares. Yeah, you're supposed to put, you know, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, this gospel and this truth first before anything it says for as a snare what's a snare a trap right shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth that black swan of it it says watch ye therefore and pray always so we supposed to always watch you know linking up the current events with the bible prophecies to understand the time period you're living in right and we're supposed to pray always why we have to pray that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. The persecution, all right? All hell breaking loose. This global economic collapse. The U.S. dollar losing its um, spending power. The love of many waxing cold. Crime going up. Inflation becoming hyperinflation. You know, a cyber attack. All kind of black swan events. Martial law, all right? The, the FEMA camps. We hoping that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that our faith is increased in these days to come because all hell is going to break loose very soon, any day now. Any day now, there could be a major cyber attack that just shut everything down and they can use this scenario to make mandatory the chip, all right? Because that's ultimately what we're looking forward to. It says, um, to escape all these things that shall come to pass, you know, Jacob's trouble, and to stand before the Son of Man. So we're hoping that we're worthy enough, you know, to escape and be protected during Jacob's trouble, to have a strong enough mind during the hour of temptation to say no, you know, and to reject this RFID chip implant, which is the mark of the beast when it's made mandatory. All right. So like I said, any day now, there could be a major cyber attack or multiple events happening at the same time. And these devils, they're going to use a pandemic you know, to further their agenda, all right? So Lord willing, you was edified.